Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. today. <laughs> it's a good one. How can I be a good example? Hmm. How can I be the kind of example our friends can copy? I know some picture passes that will help us find the answer. <gasps> First, let's put on our adventure bags. Now we can be picture pass guessers together. The first picture pass shows where someone walked. Hmm. Friends, which one is it? My friends say it's the footprint. Let's put it in our adventure bag. 
The next picture pass can make your words really, really loud. Friends, what do you think it is? It's the microphone! <laughs> Put it in your adventure bags. Only one more left. The last picture pass lights up so you can see what to do. Friends, which one? The flashlight! <laughs> Friends, put that flashlight into your adventure bags. <sighs> Friends, count with me. One, two, three. Yep. They're all here. Now let's zip our adventure bag together. <laughs> now, now it's, it's time, time to, to fly. fly. Whoa. Shine, I've been thinking about the question, how can I be a good example? Then let's learn about someone who is a good example in the Bible. <gasps> the Bible is God's book for you. You can trust. It's right and true. Dreams come true. That story's from the book of Genesis in the Bible. It's about Joseph. Let's watch it and see how Joseph was a good example that we can copy. <laughs> Joseph served Potiphar well. Potiphar's wife wanted Joseph to sin against God. Joseph refused, so she lied about him. Potiphar believed her, and Joseph was thrown into prison. In prison, Joseph met two of Pharaoh's servants. They each had dreams, and God showed Joseph their meaning. Joseph's explanations came true. The cupbearer was released, and the baker was hanged. Two years later, Pharaoh had two troubling dreams. The cupbearer remembered what Joseph had done for him and told Pharaoh. So Pharaoh sent for Joseph and told him his dreams. God showed Joseph the meaning of Pharaoh's dreams. For seven years, a lot of food will grow, said Joseph. So store up food because seven years of famine will follow. Pharaoh was impressed by Joseph's wisdom. So he put Joseph in charge of storing up all the food. Apart from Pharaoh, no one in Egypt was more powerful than Joseph. Joseph's brothers went to Egypt to buy food. They bowed before Joseph, but did not recognize him. When he saw that they had changed, he told them who he was. The brothers were terrified. You meant to harm me, Joseph said, but God used that for good. Bring all of our family to Egypt. We will have plenty to eat. Was Joseph a good example or a bad one? Hot diggity doggies! Joseph was a good example! Even when things weren't fair, Joseph still made the right choices. Other people could copy Joseph because he was a good example. But is Joseph the best example? Hmm. I'll ask Guy the Bible Guy. He knows about Everyone in the Bible. See ya, Emily. See ya, Shine. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Emily. Looks like you might have a question for me. Hi, Guy. I do have a question. How can I be a good example? You can be a good example by following the best example. Best example? I just watched a story about Joseph. Is it him? Joseph is a great example, but someone else is the best example. Friends, who do you think the best example we can copy is? Jesus is the best example. Everything Jesus did was the right choice. So if I copy Jesus, then I'll be a good example for others to copy too? Now do you know the answer to the question? How can I be a good example? I can live like 
Jesus! You know what you're talking about. <laughs> Guy, how can I find out how to live like Jesus? You can read about Jesus in my favorite book, the Bible. Then you'll know how to follow in Jesus' footsteps. I have a picture pass about that. <laughs> Friends, which one shows you where someone has walked? It is the footprint. It reminds us to follow Jesus' example. Does God tell us to be a good example in his Bible? Yes, he does. Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn the verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? Super! Watch me. 1 Timothy 4.12 Set an example in what you say and in how you live. Whee! <laughs> Let's say it again. Okay, repeat after me. 1 Timothy 4.12. 1 Timothy 4.12. Set an example. Set an example. In what you say. In what you say. And in how you live. Whee! And in how you live. Friends, you sounded so good. Dollars and donuts. I think I know it now. Let's say it together. 1 Timothy 4.12 Set an example in what you say and in how you live. Whee! <laughs> good job, friends. If you say and do kind things, you're living like Jesus. You'll be a good example for other people to copy, too. We'll be following in his footsteps. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Guy. Bye. Bye, Emily. Bye, friends. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> hey, Blinky, watch this. <gasps> Zinnia, that's a super -de duper wrong choice. Mr. Stone says crayons are only for paper. So? I don't see him anywhere. Besides, I'm the boss of myself. Blinky, what did you do? <laughs> Shine! It wasn't me. Zinnia colored on that rock. <sighs> don't tell on me. Zinnia? It's wrong to color on Mr. Stone's rock collection. Aw, oh, come on. I'm just having fun. Friends, was Zinnia being a good example or a bad example? So I was a bad example. Whatever. What's the big deal? If Blinky copied you and drew on that rock, you'd both be sinning. Oh. I didn't think of that. How are we going to learn to be good examples? Think about the best example, Jesus. He always makes the right choices. Ugh, I already made a wrong choice. I'll never be a good example now. That's not true. You can pray and ask Jesus to forgive you. Yeah, because you picked Jesus as your leader and best friend. He can give you the power to make the right choices, Xenia. You're right. I'm going to pray. God, please forgive me for my wrong choice. Show me how to be a good example. In Jesus' name, amen. Phew, I feel so much better. I can be a good example. Shine. You're a super -de duper good example for us. Yeah, thanks for showing us how to live like Jesus. <laughs> Wee! You're welcome. Now, let's clean up this mess. Friends, remember Joseph? He acted the way the Bible verse says. 
1 Timothy 4, 12. Set an example in what you say and in how you live. Whee! <laughs> the footprint shows that Joseph followed God's way, just like Jesus. And Jesus was the best example. Let's live like Jesus! <gasps> I can hear Mr. Music! Let's go! Mr. Music, your whistling sounds great! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Your kind words show you're a good example. Kind words? Oh, I think I have a picture pass about words! Friends, which picture pass can make your words really, really loud? It's the microphone! <laughs> I use a microphone so that people can hear my songs better. Hey, we could use the microphone to say some kind words! <laughs> Friends, hold your microphone to say kind words with us. I'm holding mine. Are you holding yours? Repeat after me. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Can I help you? You're welcome. <laughs> Great. You know, those kind words remind me of a song. <gasps> Friends, clap your hands together if you'd like to sing it with me. I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna teach you the part that we sing together first. Okay. It goes like this. I say please and thank you, Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. <laughs> I say please and thank you, Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. <gasps> Wasn't that fun? Yeah, I love it. Now sing it along with me, okay? Friends, sing into your microphones. I say please and thank you, Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. I say please and thank you, Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. That was great. Now let's sing the whole song. For this part, repeat after me. I can live. I can live. Like Jesus. Like Jesus. For everyone. For everyone. That I meet. That I meet. I can set. I can set. An example. An example. In what I say. In what I say. And do. And do. Here we go. I, I say please and thank you. Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. I say please and thank you. Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. I can live. I can live. Like Jesus. Like Jesus. For everyone. For everyone that I meet, that I meet, I can set, I can set an example, an example in what I say, in what I say and do, and do. I say please and thank you, Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. I say please and thank you, Jesus loves you. Can I help you? You're welcome. Do 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 do
Now, stand to your feet to worship God with singing, music, and dancing. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Question, how can I be a good example? 
Yep, answer with me, friends. I can live like Jesus. <laughs> Wee! Jesus is the best example. Whoa, whistling woodchucks. These picture passes want out of my bag. <gasps> friends, say them with me. A footprint, a microphone, and a flashlight. What did you learn about the footprint? The footprint reminds us to follow in Jesus' footsteps. That means we can make the right choice like he did. We can do things his way. What about the microphone? The microphone reminds us to say kind words to others so others can copy our words and live like Jesus. But we still don't know what the flashlight means. Hmm, a flashlight lights up the room so you can see what to do. Well, what does that have to do with being a good example? When your friends don't know what to do, it's like they're in the dark and can't see what's right. Oh, that's when they need a good example like you shine. You shine bright for all your friends. You always show them what's right. Thanks, Emily. I love living like Jesus because God asks us to in his Bible. That's right. 1 Timothy 4.12 Set an example in what you say and in how you live. Whee! <laughs> okay, friends, bow your heads and close your eyes. We're going to talk to God together. Dear God, please help us to live like Jesus and be a good example. We want to show others how to live like you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <gasps> Roar in race cars! It's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye-bye, friends.
Hi, I'm Clint. And I'm Emily. We are brother and sister, which means we're family. Not every family looks like us. There are all different kinds of families. And you can say the crew on Connect Station is kind of like a family. Exactly. And Jesus taught us a lot about how to treat each other. And sometimes it's hard to treat the ones that are home or family the way Jesus told us to. So we're going to talk about how we can live the way Jesus wants us to in our family. This week we'll be exploring about how a family is made to let God's love grow and our light show. <laughs> Mike, we live on a station. How are we going to build a pool? Not gonna lie, I didn't think that far ahead. Slip and slide. What about slip and slide? <laughs> no. <coughs> are you okay? I have great news. Whoa, gate shoes. That sounds awesome! I want a pair. She said, great news. Yeah. Like, that sounds awesome. I'll build you one. I want a chance to do a news segment for Global World News. If I win, I can be a reporter. That's awesome! What are you going to do it on? Us. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I figure... We're a crew on a one-of-a-kind space station, and, and what better news story is there than that? You do know it's us. Yeah, what's wrong with us? <laughs> Good point. If we're going to do this, we have to be on our best behavior. We want to show what an amazing crew we are and really shine. Yeah. Ew. Shine. Did someone say shine? Did you think this through? So, what is going on? I'm doing a video story on us. Awesome! Just show me where the camera is. All right, everyone, let's just work on the outline. here on Connect Station, a one-of-a-kind space station created by Dr. Emo to transmit messages and give hope to kids all over the world. This is Clint, one of the members of Connect Station. I'm Clint. I'm kind of the mad scientist on the station. I make all sorts of inventions, like my heat coat and my very special praise box. Cut. What? What? What'd you do that for? Don't open it. We need to look our best. Fine. I'll show something else. Excellent. Action. It's not easy being a scientist. You have to think fast. Think quick. Be creative and make adjustments. Cut! Mike, what did you do? This is boring. I made it interesting. Clint, just move to another part of the couch. Uh. Cut! Mike! What? This is a very important project, and you're making a joke of it. No, I am not. I am adding pizzazz. I don't need pizzazz. I need perfect. Did somebody say... Perfect! What is happening? Seriously, what is happening? It's okay. It is what it is, right? No. This is our chance to show the world who we are and what we stand for. This is really important, and you guys are driving me crazy. We're representing God to the world, and we need to be perfect. No fighting, no jokes and know whatever this is. Hey, we need to take this seriously. We are, we're just giving it a bit of oomph. Oomph, oomph, is that even a real word? What are we talking about? Oh, I'm sorry. 
sorry, I'm working with amateurs. Don't quit. I don't know what to do. We're like a family, Clint, and I just want everyone to know that a family is made to let our love show and to let our love grow. I think we need to go to the room. Hey, Room. How can I help you, Clint? Room, can you show us a family in the Bible that is perfect? I will search for it. I'm sorry. There appear to be no perfect families in the Bible. No one? No. God uses imperfect people, and it's through His love that they grow and show His grace and power. Then what am I going to do? Room, are there stories for how we are to behave even though we aren't perfect? Yes. Jesus told two parables, or stories, about how we are salt and light. Perfect. Let's watch it. This is a 66 picks mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's alive, a prize to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. History, his story, whose story, God's story. Oh, the story of how much he loves me. Let him know up all the pages that this show gone off. Let his word explode from this video into your life. Jesus was preaching on a mountainside to tell the people how to live the way God made us to live. And this teaching isn't just for those people that day, it's for all people, even today. He said if they had God's Spirit inside them and lived a life filled with God's love like Jesus did, we'd have something powerful inside of us that can help others see the way to God. If someone builds a city on a hill, is that because they want it to be hidden so no one can find it? Of course not. It's up high in plain sight so those who are lost can see where to go. When God's people live like Jesus, we can be like that city on a hill, showing people the way to God's love and forgiveness. If someone has some salt, would they keep it in the jar until it loses its flavor? No! They would sprinkle it on food that needed some flavor. Jesus said we can be like salt and add flavor to the world by living a life like Jesus. If someone has a light, would you cover it up with a bowl? No way! They would hold it up high so it could shine as much light as possible. We have a bright light inside of us, our new life in Jesus Christ. We are made bright and new on the inside. When you choose to follow Jesus, it's the best news in the world. Do you keep something that big a secret? Of course not. You see, Jesus can fill you up with love, joy, and peace, and all good things. When you let those things shine in your life, other people will see it and want it in their life. But they can't see it if you don't show it. So let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Here's a song you might already know that helps us understand what Jesus has to do with us. To make it fun, hold up your finger to be a candle. That will represent the light of God's Spirit inside of us. Let it shine, shine, shine. This little 
Did that help? Yeah, but I really want this to be good. Nobody's taking it seriously. I think we're all trying too hard. I applaud your effort. I thank you for it. But everyone's acting phony, annoying, and just plain weird. What up? But that's part of who we are. We're all a little annoying and weird. And that's okay. I love us for it. But we look stupid. We're doing this for the whole world to see, and I don't want them to think that. I mean, this is a rare thing, and we're wasting it. When we choose to live for Jesus, we can give the people who visit our home a front row seat to see how God's light can shine when we're not perfect. I think so. Then let's shine. And I have the perfect thing to show them. Exploding powder. Brilliant. I'm not getting mad. And I'm showing God's love to Mike by letting this go. <laughs> All right. If you can do it, so can I. Let's do this. <laughs> Welcome to Connect Station. Connect Station was built by Dr. Edward Emo as a communication station to share the love of God and to let children everywhere know that they connect. This is Clint. He is our resident inventor and overall genius. What are you working on, Clint? Oh, hi, Ray. Uh, I'm glad you asked. Um, this is a translator device. Uh, you put any language into the device, it translates your voice into that language. Uh, I'm going to punch in French. Ni uh, hao ma. Oh, hi, all, I'm a uh, Bonjour, right? Eh? <laughs> uh, it's a great way to talk in any language, and we can spread God's message to anyone. <laughs> well, that's great. Thank you, Clint. That's me, Danya. You the man. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go now. Uh, yeah, oh. <laughs> hey, Mike. Hi, Mike here, uh, your resident fixer, kind of like your maintenance guy. Uh, but what I really like to do is make you laugh. I love. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alyssa, and I'm kind of like the communication expert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of talking here. Uh, we can share. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so does does everyone get along? Oh yeah, we're we're kind of like family here. And we always make sure our message is clear and to the point. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> Let me show you the other section of the station. <laughs> Let's check on Emily and see what she has to say. Hi, I'm Emily. Connect Station is an amazing place where we get to shine God's love to the entire globe. We get to share amazing lessons and can talk to anyone at any time. So how do things run around here? as well as can be expected with five people working together. This is my brother, Clint. What? What's wrong? Perhaps I can help. I can remove it. Come on over this way. Let me show you this. We actually got this from Neptune. See how it has all those bright colors and... Oh, well, let's see what Nitro has to say. There. You are better. Enkthe... Uye. He may still speak a little pig Latin. That was scary. <laughs> well, as you can see, we're all a pretty close-knit family here with our own Handy dandy robot. I have never been called that before. <laughs> He's very curious, but he can help us get out of any rut. Say hi, Nitro. Hello, friends. I am Nitro, a class five robot. I am here to assist you. Well, thank you, Nitro. That's the members of Connect Station. We're all unique. Special. Different. A family. A special kind of family, united to show you as much about God's love as possible. And maybe have a little fun while we're at it. 
Right, and have a little fun. So we send it back to you. But first, we put together a little video to show you some of the fun we've had. Roll it, Nitro. Roll what? I have legs. I do not roll. <laughs> show the video. Did you catch the point? A family is made to let God's love show and to let our light glow. So remember, when you're out in public, you're representing not only your family, but God as well. People may make decisions about Jesus based on how you live. So always make sure you're glorifying God. Right. As the Bible says in Matthew 5, 16, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So don't be ashamed that we live for Jesus. Let it out. Let it shine. And remember this point, a family is made to let God's love show and our light glow. So never be ashamed of your faith and never let your light go out with bad choices. Shine bright! Until next time.